Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do future values. Now future values means that the bulk of the money will come at the end. That's the first thing you need to remember. The second thing you need to remember is that future values like all annuities stop at the last payment. Which means if you go further, in other words, if your money is still in the bank after you've made your last payment, then you have to go to grade 11 work. So if you are not taking out the money the day you are putting your last payment, you have to do grade 11 financial maths. Okay. The English in future value can be very, very deceiving. There are about three different types and you must be wary, right? Usually the, the amounts are easy. It's the N that is a problem, right? Let's start with the following, right? Right. If you take a timeline and you say that you investing a thousand rand. So you're starting to invest a thousand rand every month, right? How many ever months we are going? So I start investing a thousand rand every month, but look at what is important. I'm starting immediately. So I'm going to make a deposit right now. So it's the 1st of January and I'm making a deposit right now. And then I invest for two years at 15% per annum compounded monthly. Now, if you are investing monthly, that means end of January, you're going to invest end of February. You're going to basically invest every end of the month till the end of the two years. So which means by December, after two years, you're going to stop. Now, if I tell you two years, how many payments are you making in two years? Remember, two years at a monthly payment will give me 24 months. But if you started immediately, it means that you had one extra payment because you started now and then you went end of every month. So end of every month means January, February till December, January, February till December gives me 24. But because I started immediately, I have one more. working the future value, you want to calculate how much money you will have in the future. How much am I investing? I'm putting in a thousand rand every month. So look, it's a consistent payment. It's not like one is a thousand rand, one is 300 rand, one is 500 rand. It's a consistent payment of thousand rand because I had told you at annuities, you have to have fixed payments. So I know my payment is a thousand rand. My interest is 15% compounded monthly. Now, if it's compounded monthly, I'm dividing by 12, which gives me 1 over 80. Now, the N is where you have to be careful. So we know we have 2 times 12, which is 24. But since I'm starting immediately, I have plus 1. So my N is actually 25. Right. Now, look at the formula. If you are not familiar with the formula, look on the formula sheet. Even if you are familiar with it, look on the formula sheet because sometimes we're just careless. Now, the future value is equal to x into, and then a double bracket, 1 plus i, close brackets to the power of n minus 1 all over i. Fill in what we have. We have a 1,000 rand, 1 plus my i, is 1 over 80. So we have a thousand rand open brackets open 1 plus 1 over 80 to the power of 25 minus 1 close brackets all over 1 over 80. Now what's nice about these ones is that you can simply press it into your calculator. You must get comfortable with your calculator if you don't, you're going to waste time. Right, and your future value investment would be
your future value would be 29,135.44 cents. Right, let us take the next question. It is also a future value. You are investing also a thousand rand at the end of every month. But look, they didn't tell us that we are starting in the beginning. So you're only going end of January, end of February. And you invest it for two years at 15% per annum. Calculate the value at the end of two years. Now, if we have our timeline, you are starting here, you go into your two years. End of January, end of February. So you're going at the end of every month. What is important is that you are not adding one. Our X is a thousand rand. Our I is one over 80. But our N, what is our N? We only got two years. It's timesing by 12, which gives us 24. We're not adding or subtracting a one because we didn't make the payment right now. We just made end of January, end of February and so forth, right? We know our formula is X into one plus I close brackets to the power N minus one close brackets over I. Then we have X is a thousand Rand, one plus I. Now it's to the power of 24 minus one all over right so you're going to press it into your calculator and you'd have an investment of twenty seven thousand seven hundred and seventy eight rand and eight cents again the emphasis is on n there was no payment immediately so it was a simple times by 12. This is the third style and by far the most challenging. Now, they say that you're investing a thousand rand, but they also say that you are investing it immediately, which means that if you had your timeline, you're going to start right now, which from previous knowledge, you know a thousand rand. If I'm starting right now, it's usually plus one. But look at what they're telling you. They're telling you that you're investing it for two years at 15% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the value of the investment at the end of two years if you only made 24 payments. Now look, if I started immediately, then by the 24th payment, I'm in the end of November, I'm not at the end of December. So your last payment is here, but till the end of two years, you still have all this time. We know we are using the future value formula. We've got that our payment is a thousand Rand. We know that our I is one over 80. Now N. It's usually 2 times 12, which is 24. You should have added 1 because they said we did a payment immediately. But they are telling us that we made 24 payments, which means they didn't do the last payment. And that's how come we only have 24 payments. Now, if you substitute, right, it's exactly like the previous one. So we have a thousand rand, open brackets, 1 into 1 plus 80 to the power of 24 minus 1 over 1 over 80, which gives us 27,788 and 8 cents. But from your knowledge, you know that this rule stops at its last payment. Which means that this amount is only working till my 24th payment. But that is not the date I want. I want to know how much money I have at the end of two years. What that means is you now have to go to grade 11 work. Your P is how much money do you have on the last payment? How much money do you have in the bank at this point? So we have. Now. 
27,778.08. Our interest is still 1 over 80. But for how long are we keeping it in the bank? We are keeping it in the bank for one month. Now, usually you'd say one month is 1 over 12 times 12 because it's monthly and our answer is 1. Now many children can simply see that it's one month so they just write one but to understand it it's 1 over 12 means I have one month it's usually your years times the adjustment 12 because they use the word monthly and if you say 1 over 12 times 12 will equal to 1. Use your grade 11 formula substitute And you'd get 28,135 and 44 cents. You must be careful with future value because the start and end can always give you a different end value. And if you don't read correctly, you'd get it incorrect. Thank you for watching.